Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Brett over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Uh, here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. And today, I'm actually going to be showing you the 2021 Lance 1172. It is a double slide out truck camper, and it's the largest one that Lance actually produces at the moment. We have one slide out here on the driver's side and one on the rear. We'll do a little walk around here in a minute to show you. Uh, real quick, this camper right here actually requires a one ton long bed dually. Uh, as you can see here, we got the swing out brackets added so you can get the fat butts under there. But yeah, this one requires a one ton long bed dually. Reason being is it weighs 4,564 pounds dry and 4,968 wet. All right. Real quick, you can see here that Lance has the uh, dual pane tinted windows. That's actually standard, that's not an option. Then here on this slide out, we have a little bit of storage. Every little bit of storage counts on these campers. Uh, external light package, so that gives you lights on all corners. And then also, all your campground connections are also on this side. You gotta crawl underneath the slide here to get to your 30 amp plug in. And then you have your city water connection and then your black water flush system. Everything's a lot easier to get to when you have the slide outs in and on the truck so you don't have to worry about banging your head here. I've done that one too many times. All right, we have our liquid waste, body waste, uh, fresh water tank drain, cold and hot water line drains. Uh, liquid and body waste are both 35 gallon uh, capacities and then your water tank uh, is 42 so you can take 42 gallons of fresh water on the go with you main power shut off switch that was a tongue twister <laughs> then you have your external shower you want to shower outside be my guest rinse your feet off really that's what that's used for but whatever all right so then we have our own on generator here uh, 2500 watt so that's easy access and the bottom's not closed in that's a big plus so nothing's going to be holding water here uh, you can drop it for service kind of makes it a lot easier there we are all right on to the back you have your docking lights here those really brighten it up at night time when you're trying to see what you're doing backup camera that is wireless you just hook it into the DC outlet in the truck and then you have power at all times doesn't have to be in reverse or anything like that right underneath this slide out we have quite a bit of storage here you can look in there and I'd say that goes back a good two and a half three foot I haven't actually measured that yet but just eyeballing it Like I said, every bit of storage counts on these truck campers. All right, on to the passenger side, also called the campground side. You can see here, this one is four season rated. It does have the package added. Uh, the four season package includes a heated basement, which acts to heat the tanks, uh, all your water lines, and also acts to heat the floor. It's not a floor heater, but in the process of heating all the tanks being in the basement it also uh, heats the floor uh, also includes like covers uh, for all your vents and stuff like that too all right then you have your side power awning uh, it does have auto wind sensing so if it gets too windy outside it'll roll itself back in outdoor speakers two 30 pound propane tanks one includes a gauge this one's already full, this one's sold, so it's getting prepped and ready to hit the road. This is your freshwater tank fill. Uh, like I said, it's 42 gallons of fresh water on the go. Just feed your garden hose in there and it'll spew out the uh, top here when it's full. AC plug-ins. This is where your water pump's located. You have winterized mode and then uh, city water so you just flip that down when you want to pull from or uh, uh, use the camper 
that's one of your bypasses for winterizing then you'll have one inside for the water heater as well then you take this right here when you're winterizing put that down in the paint stuff which this one is already winterized all right and then you have your water heater uh, access door for servicing and then i don't think i mentioned this but this one actually has the mountain graphics added too you probably already noticed that but i felt like i needed to point it out all right let's check out the inside okay as soon as we're walking in here i want to show you one thing that i really like about this camper and it's battery placement it's right underneath the stair you get two deep cycle 27 series in there or you can do the lithium battery series uh, both are options through lance uh, this one will have batteries here in about a day or two uh, as this one's about to go through the prep process for the customer to the right we have all of our light switches this one here is for your left side uh, driver side uh, external patio light this one in the middle here is for your uh, right side passenger side patio light this one here controls that light there as soon as you walk in your entry light uh, power for your backup camera docking lights for the rear this right here is how you control this rear slide out and then on the remote you control that side slide and i'll show you that here in a second for your remote that's your charging station or direct uh, input this one down here that is for uh to turn power off to the slides fire extinguisher hope you never have to use that um let her burn and just use the insurance all right you like my little mat here that's where i can wipe off my nasty feet okay so you have the rear couch in this one that's what the rear slide out's for um this is the only option there are no theater chair options i don't know if it's because they don't have enough room or they just don't want to do that but uh you do have the rear couch option for this it is nice this also actually makes into a bed uh the dimensions on that are actually 36 inches by 59 inches so it's not going to sleep somebody like myself but if you have children that go with you or an adult that you don't care about they could probably sleep diagonally and be in just fine all right then you also have this nice little uh table option for it all right found the remote so this is how you control all the jacks these two buttons up here run that slide out so you have that main or you have this one for the rear and this for the side uh give me one second let me get this uh table out of the way and i'll show you something cool about this uh, all right so the couch also frees up a lot of space for um storage good lord i need to vacuum that but uh, anyways yeah it frees, frees up a lot of space for more storage and then you take it all the way down there's your bed it also has little kick outs here it's not a recliner by any means but it is a, a place to uh just prop your feet kind of then this table right here it does collapse doesn't take up a lot of room just put that pole down in there line that hole up with the pole bingo there's your table all right let's move on to the kitchen all right so in the kitchen area up top you'll find that's where your power is to your awning on off extend retract you just hit it and it goes awning light so you have a nice led light strip at the very end of this awning it's a 14 foot awning so you have plenty of lighting under there to really light it up at night key holder i'll show you how that works Cool. all right so this customer decided to go with the uh, convection oven over the microwave um, most of the time when we get these campers in what you'll find in the previous videos is we'll have a microwave up top stove top and then uh, oven so this one's got the convection oven uh, for you people that know how to cook out there you know how this works i don't i know top ramen and that's about it all right so you have your convection oven then your um, three burner stove top and then also a microwave is an option 
and the oven is an option for this. But if you don't get the oven to do the convection, it frees up another uh, storage space here. More storage over here. And then likewise on the opposite side. So you can put your, uh, I don't know, cook, put, cook pots, uh, cleaners and stuff in there, towels, extra spices, all that good stuff. Then they also here in the kitchen area used to have a slide out pantry option where it just slides out to about right here. Uh, they don't have that option anymore. You have to reach back there to grab anything. That's where I get my weights uh, for the camper. And then you have a little bit more storage right underneath that one. Yeah, I don't know about the uh, slide out pantry option. I don't know why they don't have any more if they just ran out of materials parts or whatever I don't I'm not really sure they didn't give me an explanation so uh, This is the marble looking countertop here got quite a bit of space more than some of the others uh, AC outlets back there for uh, crock pot um, Coffee pots stuff like that then you have a little counter extension here as well and then also uh, you do have sink covers that go with this um, I just actually took them out and they're sitting down there but yeah if you're not using the sink it does come with some more marble looking uh, sink covers that way everything's matching looking great all flush and stuff you can travel with them too all right even more storage like I said, every bit of storage in a truck camper counts. It's not as much as some of your pull behinds, but um, I mean, this is this is a great amount of storage. Underneath here, you got some pull-out drawers for silverware and whatever else you want to throw in there. All right. Up top here, you can see that's where you start your generator. Stop and prime. You hold that down until that lights up orange, then you hit start. Uh, it is pretty quiet as well. Uh, then you have your little control panel here. Water pump, water heater on gas and electric. Uh, battery levels, fresh water tank levels, black and gray water levels. Um, this is where you check all that. So your fresh water again was 42 gallons in both black and gray. Or 35 a piece all right then you have your dinette the dinette also makes into a bed I've done a video on this before to actually show you how to do so um, but the dinette bed is 44 inches by 72 inches so somebody like myself could actually use that all right then you have a little bunk option here Let's see if I can get that down with one hand I think one hand in it was doable this was just quicker so but yeah you do have the bunk option here you don't have to get this as I said it is an option but it is good for uh, stowing down the road you can run it um, deployed actually going down the road it is good for holding up to 200 pounds as well so it doesn't have a 200 pound rating all right got that folded back up so here you'll see this is the light gray interior option it's actually called platinum you have three colors to choose from uh, one's going to be platinum this light gray cloth looking color then you have java java is going to be a dark brown darker than this um, and it's like a leather looking vinyl uh, option and then you have royal which is uh, like a midnight blue also a leather vinyl looking color so you have platinum java royal java and platinum kind of uh, the two most popular i think royal looks good we just don't get a lot of demand for it all right here you'll see that we have two pull out storage trays underneath the dinette so that adds for even more storage lock that
those back into place for stowing or towing excuse me all right moving along so we have this three-way fridge here it runs on ac dc and propane you have a separated uh, freezer from the fridge portion both are very good size Then your AC, I guess I tend to forget that some in some of the videos. This is a upgraded 10K low pro uh, wall controlled AC unit by Dometic. Uh, you control everything through this unit right here on the wall. It is digital. Uh, you control your AC and furnace through there. So again, that was the low profile 10K Dometic AC unit. Then you have a swing out TV here. You can actually swing that out to see it from the couch, the bed, or the dinette. I believe that's a 28 incher there. Some magazine racks, DVD racks. Moving along, this is where you'll find your dry bath. So dry bath means it's separated from the, or the shower is separated from the toilet. That is a very good size shower area and enough space for you to do your business on the john there. A lot of countertop space there for the bathroom as well. Got a little medicine cabinet here, figure out how to open it. A little pull out door here for your toothpaste, all that good stuff. And some more storage for some cleaners and your toilet paper holster all right and of course with the slides in you cannot access the bathroom you can't access anything with these slide outs in uh, if this slide was in right here i'd be squished um and then of course this one actually comes all the way in to like right in here somewhere so you're not getting in i've got videos on that as well if you want to see it all right, up here in the bed area, that is a true queen size mattress. So if you're looking to buy sheets for one that you've already got, that is a queen size mattress. Got some storage over here on the left. Radio comes with an app that you can download on your smartphone and control. More storage, overhead storage over there with reading lamps. Uh, more storage on the right over there. I'll try to show you that. Get up in the bed here. Ugh. There we go. More storage. And let's see. The closet. All right. There's also mounting options for a second TV up here. I don't think I've ever showed you that before. But that is your bed area. I just wrinkled up the sheets. My bad. All right. And I already know of a couple things that I forgot to show you, so I'll go ahead and hit those real quick. Day and night shades. Somebody would definitely point that out in the comments below. If you point it out thinking that I forgot it, I know that you skipped through the video. I'm also going to say pricing at the end, so I better not see anybody asking for pricing. Or you could just call me. And then we have our fantastic vent here. Let's see. I bet you it's got tape on it up there. Sure does. Have to get up on the roof and de-tape everything. But you do have a, a fantastic roof vent here. It's got its own little thermostat built in, so it helps regulate the temperature inside. All right, everybody, that concludes the video. Hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, that was the 2021 Lance 1172. Um, that one actually comes in starting around 54,000 without options. You start adding options. You could you could get one of these things up to close to 70. So if you're interested in one, just give me a call, 423-892-6272, or you could email me. Uh, all the contact info 
will be in the description below this one is sold but i do have a couple coming in soon that are available that you can put your name on if you want to um let's see what else again this one required a one ton long bed dually uh, reason being is this one comes in weighing about a little over 4,500 pounds uh, dry and then a little over 4,900 wet. So if I forgot anything in this video, just hit me up in the comments. I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Let's YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. Might be enjoyable to watch. Uh, if you're not a member of this channel already, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. Um, that way you're notified with my uh, most recent videos and join this fish and fun family. I'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care